God says that his house shall be called a house of prayer of all nation. Today, Cornerstone Television Network, we are starting our 21 days of prayer and fasting, and we want you to join us as we intercede and we uplift for our families, our communities, the nation, and the world. The whole Hope Today team is here together. We're gonna have a powerful time of interceding and praying, so join us. Make an altar at your home. Make a space for the presence and the power of God to hit powerfully in your home, whether you're in Pittsburgh, you're in Florida, you're in Alabama, if you're across the country, or either we're watching us online. We love you so much. Hope today starts right now.
I hope the presence of God is invading your your space right now, your living room, wherever you're watching. I know we feel the presence of God here as Ellie was singing and leading us into that. Today is the beginning of Hope Today's 21 day prayer journey and we want you to sign up for that. So you can, you can go to our website, ctvn.org slash journey and you can sign up. 428 people have signed up already, guys, and I'm, I'm excited for that. We're gonna spend this time in prayer. So there's uh, you know, many areas of prayer that we wanna pray for. We want you to join together with us. We're praying for our families. We're praying for our children. We're praying for our nation. All the things that, that, are, uh, that, that are, you know, God is concerned about all of that, all of that in our personal lives and in our national lives. So I'm here with the, the whole team has gathered, uh, as many as could be here today, and we are just believing for God to move in our country, in our nation, in your life. So I'm gonna ask Anna to lead us off. Thanks, Anna. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence in this place. We invite you here to fill this room, fill our hearts, fill, fill the rooms where our viewers are turning in, God, tuning in, God. Lord, I just wanna lift up our children as so many of them have returned back to school. Lord, our kids belong to you first, and we thank you that your word declares that you have gone before them to protect them, to uphold them, to empower them to be light in their hallways, God, to release them from anxiety, from fears, from depression and suicidal thoughts. And so God, we just thank you. Thank you for your presence in their lives. May they fix their eyes on you and trust you with all of their hearts. God, give them good friends. Lord, friends that will draw them closer to you, that will keep them strong, that they can trust and laugh with and cry with, Lord. We pray against this epidemic of loneliness. God, surround our kids. Let this be an amazing year where they walk in their purpose, where they are world changers, where they're bold for you and that they stand strong in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you're doing in their lives. You're so faithful. Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor and we thank you for your presence, God. The word says that in your presence is the fullness of joy, God. I pray for those who are experiencing <clears throat> deep levels of loneliness, Father. I mean, levels of loneliness that makes people just feel like, I don't want to be here anymore, that ushers in depression. God, I speak to them, God, those individuals struggling there, that your presence would feel their space, feel their mind, feel their heart. And God, that there would, wouldn't be a feeling that no one is there for them, God. People are grieving not only those that have passed on, but they are grieving those who are alive, those who they've had good relationships with, family relationships that have been broken because of issues and things. Grief has many different forms and grief and loneliness can really, really hurt people. So God, I pray in the name of Jesus that as we pursue you and as we pursue your word and as we go into prayer, help us to surrender these weights to you, Father, that you would fill us with your presence. You would fill us with joy. You would fill us with comfort, security, and the confidence to know that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Even those that we've loved that have went on, God, you, we know that we are able to stand strong because we know that you are always with us no matter where we go. So I God, I pray for a special comfort for those who are experiencing these levels of loneliness, God, and that in this moment, in this episode, in this today, in this, in this show today, you would, your presence would just encamp around them yes, and Lord. they would feel your love. We thank you, we bless you, and we honor you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just want to say we love you. And Lord, we are so thankful that you are the answer. No matter what we're walking through, you are the answer. We don't need to entertain fearful thoughts or thoughts of jealousy, envy, pride, Father God, but yet we surrender and we walk in the humility, Father God, knowing that he is greater, the one that is higher than I. 
and we will fix our eyes on you, God, no matter what the world is doing around us, God. And I thank you that, Father, our hope is not in men, but I do lift up the people that are in government and in those roles of leadership. And God, we ask for you, your presence, to be there, Father, where they're at. Lord, we thank you that you are in the midst. We are not walking in fear. We know we can trust Almighty God. And Lord, ultimately, we know the government rests upon your shoulders. And so, Lord, I thank you that great is our peace. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Father, we pray for your presence, Lord. We we thank you, Father, that uh, where we are gathered, you have promised to be there. Where we agree, you've promised to do that thing. So we agree together for your presence to be uh, with us here in our ministry, with the people that are watching, and with all the places we've already prayed for, uh, our, our children in their schools. We need your presence there, Lord. Our government, we need your presence there, Lord. So we pray for the presence of God to be evident, manifest. Lord, we know you're everywhere, you're omnipresent, but Lord, We pray for the manifest presence of God to be uh, everywhere our nation needs you. And that's everywhere, Father. We ask it in Jesus' name. Well, as we continue in prayer, let's go over to Sydney and the rest of the team. Thanks, Tom. You know, if you're just tuning in right now, we are taking time here on Hope Today to take a moment to intercede and to pray for our families, for our communities, for the nation, and for the world. And we are so glad that you are joining us. I'm here with Angela and Matt, and we're going to just take a moment to just really, we know there's so many of you who are watching that are walking and battling through some traumatic things, some tough things in your families and in your homes and in your mind. And so we're going to uplift and intercede for you. We're going to start with Angela. Angela, can you start with Father, we thank you that you are ever-present help in trouble. We thank you that, Father, you sent your Son that we could be set free in every way he was afflicted, that our afflictions would not keep us bound and at the mercy of this world. So, Father, we lift up those right now who feel captivated in their thoughts, God, who the trauma and the pain of past is continually rehearsed over and over, that spaces and places they walk in, they feel triggered and emotional onsets and onslaught. Or God, we just ask that even now, every part of who they are would be saturated by the King of glory. We ask that the blood of Christ cover that mind, that every day it would be renewed, empowered, and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Father, we put before you their past, their present, and their future. And we ask that you, Holy Spirit, would breathe on all of it. Give them amnesia for the past pain. Give them hope in the today moment and allow them to see a clear vision of you in the future. We thank you, God, that you are the God who is above every circumstance and situation and nothing by any means will destroy them. In Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you that there's power in the name of Jesus. One mention of the name breaks every yoke, every addiction, every bondage. God, you said and you promised that the same power that defeated death, hell, and the grave is the same power that lives in us. I pray over all those out there right now that are bound by some type of addiction, whether it's through substance, emotionally, physically. You are not a victim. You are a victor. You are more than an overcomer. You have the authority and power to bind and loose the power of heaven over your addiction, over your stronghold. I say that right now I come in agreement with my brothers and sisters that it must loosen. The grip of addiction must loosen off of them now in the mighty name of Jesus. God, you said that you have a purpose and a plan not to harm them, but to prosper them with a hope and a future. I pray over my brother and my sister that's tuning in right now as they take up their God-given authority. They walk with strength, with purpose, with confidence, knowing that God has strategically placed them on the earth for such a time as this. And no addiction shall keep them bound. No addiction 
shall keep them from, from, or from fulfilling the will of God over your life. I speak to you right now that addiction is broken off of you in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. God, we thank you that you are a deliverer. We thank you, God, that you're a redeemer. We thank you, Father God, that you redeem our life from the pit of destruction. And Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we speak to that person, Father God, that is brokenhearted, oh God. We thank you, Father God, that you heal up the brokenhearted, that you bind up their wounds, oh God. So right now in the name of Jesus, Father God, every spirit of torment, Father God, every spirit of fear, Father God, everything that is keeping them captive, Father God, we break it and we bind it in the name of Jesus. Father God, for that person that's been abused, for that person that's been suffering for that person that is on the brink of suicide. Father God, we bind up that right now in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of suicide. We bind the spirit of death and we speak life. We speak life. We speak life today, oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you walk beside us, Father God, that you never leave us and you never forsake us, oh God. So Holy Spirit, we just ask that you would come like a rushing wind, Father God. We thank you, Jesus, that no matter when the storms come, Father God, when our foundation is on you, Jesus, it doesn't matter what storms come our way because because God, you are our firm foundation. And because our house is built on you, Father God, when the winds and the waves come against it, oh God, we will not be crushed. We will not be silenced, oh God. We are overcomers. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony, oh God. So Father God, we pray for the person right now that is suffering, the pray for the person right now that is on the brink of hopelessness, oh God. We speak life right now to them, Father God. Whether they're in Florida or in Pennsylvania, Father God, or California, Father God, wherever they're watching, oh God, that you would renew them, oh God, that you would renew them and you would step right in. You are Emmanuel. You are God with us. And even though we walk through the fire, we go through floods, we will not be consumed because that's the promise that you give to us. And we just want to encourage you right now as we've been praying that our prayer line is always open 24-7. Give us a call at 888-665-4483. We want to join and lock arms with you and stand in agreement because here at Cornerstone Television Network, here at Hope Today, we want to let you know that you are never alone. No matter what circumstance, no matter what you're battling, no matter what you're facing, this is why we exist. It's to bring hope and encouragement and joy to you in the midst of your storm and your tribulations. Right now, we're going to go to Ellie Del Turco for her song, Refiner. If the altar's where you meet us, take me there, take me there. If what you need is just an offering. It's right here, my life is here, and I'll be a living sacrifice. You're a fire, you're a fighter. I want to be consumed. I want to be tried by fire. Purify, you take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. I want to be tried by fire. Purify. Take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. If your glory wants to come here, let it fall. We want it all. Your fire is consuming. Fill this place, set it ablaze, and I'll be a living
take whatever you So we've got the whole team together to pray and pray for you and believe for your needs. But I've asked the team to just let the Holy Spirit lead however they feel to pray. And I'm going to ask Sydney to start us off. We're just going to pray. We're going to ask the Holy Spirit to bless your life today and bless the, just the, the things that concern you and concern the, those around you. So Sydney, will you kick us off, please? We thank you that you are Ruach Elohim, that you are the spirit of the living God. And we thank you that you are consuming fire. And in this season, oh God, we surrender and we lay down our lives before you. We become the altar, Father God. We become living sacrifices, oh God. So we just pray in this season, oh God, that we would burn for you, that we would lay our lives down, that we would allow you to burn off the chaff and everything that is hindering us and blocking us from walking into the fullness and the purpose of our destiny and calling. Let us be glory carriers for you, O oh God. Holy Spirit, just come. Open the heavens, rend the heavens, and come down. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Father, I thank you for this walk of holiness that you have invited each and every one of us to. And Lord, I do ask that just like Sydney said, that we would take serious this commitment to you, that we will truly become followers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that when people look upon our lives, that they would see you. And Father, I thank you for the people who have called that prayer line, God, you know them by name. And God, I thank you that you see right where they're at and that you are ministering to them. You are sending your angels on their behalf, God, bringing the deliverance, the healing, Father God, the financial need, God, you know them all. And we thank you, Father, for each one. God, I just speak to every son, every daughter that may have lost their way. So I speak to that prodigal son, and we call you back home in the mighty name of Jesus. God, restore unto them the joy of their salvation. Open up their eyes. Let them taste and see once again what is truly everlasting in their life. We call you home now in Jesus' name. Enemy, take your hands off them. No weapon formed against them can prosper. We speak to that prodigal son, that prodigal daughter, and we thank you that they're coming home today in Jesus' mighty name. God, we thank you for every petition here that represents our surrender, Father, to say that, God, this is not going to be fulfilled in our strength, but in your power, that in our weakness, your strength is made perfect, God. So we thank you, God, for humility and surrenderance of whatever it is that these individuals are praying for, God. We thank you, God, that there's going to be a new, a new bound motion of, of, of just in, in intimacy with you, God, through every prayer that is laid down here. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you. We thank you, God, that everything that concerns them concerns you. We thank you that you are the breath in every space that seems like they're getting choked out. And we ask, Holy Spirit, breath of the living God, that you would breathe into them, into every circumstance that surrounds them and give them new life. We thank you that you are with them, your hand upon them, that you will guide and lead just that they take that first step towards the Father. We thank you, Jesus, that in every step after, you walk with them. Yes. God, we just thank you for your presence here with us today. We come humbly before you and we lay every fear, every concern at your feet. For those who are weary and heavy burdened, God, may they come to you and lay it down because you are so much bigger than anything we are facing today. Let us take our eyes off of this world, off of the things that want to consume our thinking and fix our mind on you, fix our eyes on you, God, 
Bring every care and concern and in exchange get your peace that passes all understanding that will guard our heart and our mind in you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes. Just as we close this program, I want to ask the whole team to join me. We just came online, just came online in Jacksonville, Florida, just yesterday. And yesterday there was a shooting in Jacksonville, Florida. And I, I, our program's called Hope Today. And we are here to bring hope, the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ, to all people everywhere, including Jacksonville. So all of you in Jacksonville that are watching, join us now as the whole team joins. Because we've got to stand, guys. We've got to stand for the Lord's righteousness against what the enemy would try to sow. So in the name of Jesus, we speak to Jacksonville and we say, let the blessing of the Lord and the healing of the Lord and the hope of God be on that community. Everyone that the Lord loves, everyone that was affected by the shooting yesterday, we pray, Father, that you bring hope and peace. Let the, the, the word of God and the people of God rush in to bring healing, to bring that hope, to bring that love of God, Lord. You are not in this uh, in the, in this shooting, but you are in the healing that comes from this. We ask in the name of Jesus that you would do this, Lord, and that you would bring hope to that community and to everyone who's called this prayer line and to everyone that's been ministered to by this program today, Lord. We pray that your presence would be with them. Thank you for joining us. Again, you can go to ctvn.org slash journey and join us on this 21-day prayer challenge. God is up to something important and he wants to bring hope to you today. On tomorrow's Hope Today, learn to confidently pray for your child from head to toe. Speaker and author Sharon Janes encourages you with powerful ways to help you pray for God's protection and provision over the ones you love most. Don't miss tomorrow's Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.